Greetings everyone, this is Patrick with Great Ocean Technology. For today's video, we're going to be looking closely at a quest. I haven't played through this yet, so I'm excited to see what happens. First it looks like we're going to have to deal with some lesser Zoria abominations. They're not too tough, so it should be quick. Now that those are dead, I'm gonna see what the deal is with this tree over here. As you wish. It looks like we can go into it. Now we're in some kind of tavern, and there's a bunch of statues, and I think there's a ghost over there. I'm gonna find out what the statues are about. Stop. Don't touch him. I guess the ghost doesn't want me to. Okay, so I guess they're not actually statues, they're petrified knights. Maybe there's a way to free the warriors and the old ghost. So he's gonna ask questions to kind of judge my worth. Like, riddles it looks like. Let's go with a greedy option to see what happens. So, when you get a wrong answer, a statue crumbles. Let's see if that keeps happening when I choose greedy options. More statues that time. So after three wrong answers, the quest fails. I'm gonna reload. This time I'm going to go with generous options and see if I can get through the quest. So, save the orphans. Help both people. Put the horse out of its misery. And peace and prosperity for all. So is he going to unfreeze the warriors? Yep. Nice. Now I've just got to convince them to turn away from greed. I'm going to go with the most diplomatic options, I think. It does look like there might be some violent and greedy options here, too. Squire really doesn't like me. I think I might have convinced them. It looks that way. So now they're leaving to do generous things for the world, and the ghost is happy about it. That concludes our quest video. Thanks for watching. <sighs>